Alright guys, yesterday we learned in here the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, we learned a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now today we're going to apply it using so that we can find the distance on the coordinate plane. Okay, in other words, if I have a coordinate plane such as this, okay, and I have two points, let's say I have the point 2, 1, and the point 2, or 3, negative 1. Okay, you see my two points on there? If you want to know the distance from this point to this point, we don't know how to do that right now. Okay, but that's what we're going to learn today. We're going to learn how to take two points on the coordinate plane, which is what this is, like this one and this one, and find the distance between them. So on this example, we've got two points. We have 5, 5 right here. So I'm going to put a dot. And negative 1, negative 3 right here. Now the question is, how far away are they? Well, you can't count like, well, this is 1, this is 2. You can't do that. Okay? But what we learned yesterday is if we have a right triangle and we know two sides, we can tell you the hypotenuse, can't we? So let's take these two points and draw us a right triangle, Chris. You see that? How I just drew a right triangle? Let me do it in highlighter so you can see it better. This is my triangle right there. Okay, now what does this resemble? Yesterday we did a problem where we said the distance from Oxford to Batesville to Grenada. You remember that? And we found the hypotenuse. Doesn't this look just like that? Now, all you got to do is count up how many, point, how many uh, units it is and across how many units it is. So how many is it up? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this side is eight. Then we'll count across. One, two, three, four, five, six. This side is six. So you know these two sides, and they form a right angle, so they're called the what? They're called the legs. Okay? This is a leg, and this is a leg. Alright? Now, all we don't know is C. Isn't that correct? We do not know C, but we want to find C, right? Right? Because that's what the direction said. Find the distance between those two points. So Jeremy Iron, when we had two legs, is what these are called, and we wanted to know the hypotenuse, which is the long side, we'll call the small one A and the medium size one B, and this is C. Now yesterday we learned the formula A squared plus B squared equals c squared. Now what's a here, Raven? Now what is a? a is 6, so we say 6 squared plus what's b? 8, and so we say it, plug it in the formula 8 squared and that all equals c squared. Now 6 squared is 36 and 8 squared is 64. When we add them up we get 100 and that equals c squared. Now, we've got to get c by itself. Jeremy Honor, yesterday we said that if you got something squared, the opposite of that is the square root. So since this is squared, I'm going to take the square root of it. And since I did it to this side, I've got to do it to the left. So what's the square root of 100? 10. So c equals 10. Now, we did all this work to find out what this distance was, right? That was the instruction. What did we find out the distance was? 10. So you see this up here was 8, this was 6, and the whole thing is how much? 10. Number 3, and our distance is, to, our goal is to find the distance from this point to this point. This point is 4, 0. This point is 2, negative 8. So I'm going to draw a line between the two points. Now, once you get a line between the two points, you want to make a what? A right triangle. So I'm going to go up to here and over to there. Now, this is the right angle. So I've got to tell what my two legs are. My first leg is 1, 2, 3. And my second leg is 1, 2. So tell me what A is. A equals 2. 
B equals 3, and our formula is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So I've got 2 squared plus 3 squared equals C squared. From here, I do 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. I add them up, and that's 13, and that equals C squared. Now, Kelvin, to get C by itself, what do I do? Take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 13 is what, guys? 3.6. Now, that 3.6 right there is the distance from this point to this point. It equals 3.6. Alright, on this number five, they want us to find the distance between this point and this point. So the first thing you have to do is graph it on a coordinate plane, which you learned in fourth grade. You also learned it today. Devon, how do I graph negative three, three? Go left three and up. One, two, three, and put my dot. Devon, how do I graph two, zero? Go two to the right and stay on the number line, zero up and down. Now, our goal is to find the distance between these two points. I need to know how long this line is. So I have to make this into a right triangle, like that and like that. Now, this is the hypotenuse, which makes this and this the legs. So, Jeremy Young, what is my first leg? My vertical leg is what? Three. Good. What is my horizontal leg? Five. One, two, three, four, five. So, Jeremy, what is A equal? Three. Chris, what does B equal? Five. Five. So now I plug in the formula of three squared plus five squared equals C squared. I want y'all to solve for C. Now, three squared is nine plus five squared is twenty-five. 25 plus 9 is 34, and that equals C squared. Now, Kelvin, how do I get C by itself? D by. I find the square root of both sides. So C equals, what is the square root of 34? 5.8. 5.8. So, Chris... What is the distance from this to that? 5.8. 5.8. So on your homework, you would write the distance between these two equals 5.8. So today, I taught you how to find the distance between two points on the coordinate plane using the Pythagorean theorem.